dreamers of dreams. Mathematics, or numbers, is the cradle of all creation. Without this, the world cannot move even an inch. Every human being, like a nurse or a farmer, a carpenter, a mechanic, a shopkeeper, a doctor, an engineer or a scientist, a musician or a magician, electrician, a fisherman, a cook or even a driver, everyone needs mathematics in their day-to-day -day life. Even animals, plants and insects have the golden ratio, the geometrical pattern they use mathematics in their everyday life for existence. Or I might say, our universe, our very reality, is made of math, including you. Did you know that you can find the secret of the universe just by using mathematics? I want to start with a very basic concept, the vortex-based mathematics from the root word vortex. Vortex is a region in a fluid in which the flow rotates around an axis line, which may be straight or curved. You can see the vortex pattern in all things, like in your DNA, nature, and even in the universe. Marco Rodin's original claim was that he had tapped into it and he could model mathematically a previously unobserved invisible energy. It is the initial impulse positive force behind creation. This energy is characterized by its linearity. In vortex maths, everything adds up to nine, six and three. Polarized everything. One, two, four, eight, 7 and 5 describe the physical world. Therefore, the 3, 6 and 9 are not physical, but they govern the physical world at the quantum level. The example is sound. Sound releases frequencies or vibrations. Understanding that all living things are vibrational, meaning it is the control the standard upon which all creation is based. Here is the example of a symbol. I know some of you are familiar with it. Marco himself refers to it as a symbol of enlightenment. I know some of the secret societies have deep knowledge about this. They use the geometrical pattern to govern the world. This is a mathematical decryption of the universe. Around the circle, we see all the numbers. We start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. What I am going to show you here is that if you add those numbers back together, it reveals an underlying pattern or infinite series underneath any bigger number that you can find. Like in nature, nature has a pattern. This is a way that you can create all the patterns and you can model a higher dimensional energy. We're going in the clockwise direction around the circle. Let's start with one. We draw a straight line connecting it to the next number, which is two. This is called doubling. One, if it's doubled, is equal to two. Two, if it's doubled and we follow the line again, it becomes four. 4, if we double again, becomes 8. And 8, if doubled again, becomes 16. 
If we add one and six together, we get seven. Let's just follow the underlying pattern. So, 16 doubled is 32. Then again, three plus two equals five. We can also double the seven. Seven plus seven equals 14. So one plus four is also going to be five. Let's stick and go back to 32. So, 32 doubled is 64, bringing me back up here into one. Six plus four equals 10. One plus zero equals one. 64 doubled is 128. Eight plus two is 10. 10 plus one is 11. One plus one equals two. 128 is doubled, making 256. Again, two plus five equals seven. Seven plus six equals 13. And then one plus three is four. By continuing, 256 doubled is 512, again reducing back to 8. 512 doubled is 1024, which reduces back to 7. 1024 doubled is 2048, which reduces back to 5. No matter how many times you go around, there is no possible way to break this infinite sequence. It always goes back to the start and it has no end. All the numbers are equally important, but the nine is the king or the queen of the system. It is the control of everything else. So what happens if you double the nine? Well, nine doubled becomes 18. 18 doubled is 36. 36 doubled is 72. So if you add those numbers, 18, 36 and 72, they always equal 9. What about if we halve 9? Half of 9 is about 4.5, which equals 9. Half of 4.5 is 2.25, which also equals 9. No matter what I double or halve, the 9 is never changing. It's forming an axis and polarising all the numbers because, in this system, we're actually able to give polarity. Look at the six and three. Let's find out what happens with these numbers if we get the mathematical functions. Three doubled becomes six. Six doubled then becomes 12. And one plus two is three. 12 doubled becomes 24. Two plus four is six. 24 doubled is 48 and four plus eight is 12. One plus two is three. 48 doubled is 96, which comes back to six, right? Halving would be the same. Half of six is three. Half of three is 1.5, which comes back to six. No matter which way you do it, halving or doubling, three and six are oscillating back and forth. None of those numbers can do this. Only three and six, just like magnetic fields or a duality. You might be asking me, why is this significant? Well, this is how vibration and motion occur. Energy always moves and cannot be destroyed. Number nine is the highest energy because it is the answer or source of all motion and vibration. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to press the notification bell so that you're alerted to all my new videos. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video.